Traditional African religions, with their origins rooted in oral history, offer a mesmerizing glimpse into the past. Passed down through generations, these belief systems reflect the continent's culture tapestry, uniting communities through shared values and rituals. While lacking a direct founder, these religions emphasize the spiritual connection between humans and a single creator, God, albeit with variations across different regions. Guided by principles of healing, honoring ancestors, and respecting one's heritage, these ancient religions have left an indelible mark on African societies, shaping their sense of identity and offering wisdom for navigating life's challenges. Keep watching till the end of the video to embark on a captivating journey into the world of prehistoric African religions and be astounded by their historical significance. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Ethiopian Indigenous Faith Ethiopia has a diverse religious history that includes traditional indigenous faiths predating Christianity and Islam. These belief systems are deeply rooted in Ethiopian culture and heritage. One prominent indigenous faith practiced in Ethiopia is Wakafana, followed by the Aroma people. It is a monotheistic religion centered around Waka, a supreme and benevolent god. Rather than relying on holy texts or prophets, Wakafana, followers see the actions of Waka in natural phenomenon like rainfall, birth, and death. Communication with the divine occurs through the Ayana spirits, and those chosen by these spirits become priests known as Kalu or Kalidi. Wakafana is often practiced alongside Christianity or Islam, demonstrating syncretism. Ethiopian traditional religion is also known as Ethiopian indigenous faith, is characterized by a strong connection to nature, ancestral worship, and belief in the supernatural forces and spirits. Animism is a significant aspect with natural elements like rivers, mountains, and trees believed to possess spiritual essence and revered accordingly. Rituals and ceremonies and offerings are performed to seek blessings and show respect to ancestral spirits and deities. These practices commonly take place in sacred locations such as forests, groves, mountains, or ancient stone structures called moscobus. It's important to note that Ethiopian religion is diverse with different region traditions and practices. Various ethnic groups in Ethiopia have their own unique variations of indigenous faith, incorporated local customs, beliefs, and culture elements. Although the influence of Christianity and Islam has led to decline in inheritance to traditional Ethiopian religion, particularly in the urban areas, it remains significant and continues to be practiced by many people, especially in rural communities where traditional beliefs and customs thrive. A detailed video about the world's oldest surviving Bible discovered in Ethiopia can be watched on our channel, Aksumite Religion. In addition to Ethiopian traditional religion, there is also Aksumite religion. The Aksumite religion is also known as Aksumite Polytheism, was the religious system practiced by the ancient kingdom of Aksum in present-day Ethiopia. Flourishing from the 2nd century BCE to the 7th century CE, the Aksumite civilization held significant influence over the region's history and culture. The religious customs of the Aksumite Empire was deeply rooted in the beliefs of their ancestors, predating the establishment of the kingdom itself by many centuries. The Aksumite religion evolved over time, reflecting the changing religion practices from the Bronze Age to antiquity. At its core, Aksumite religion was characterized by the worship of a pantheon of deities. The primary deity, known as Maxarum or Astar, held a prominent position as the supreme god and protector of the Aksumite kingdom. A star was associated with the sky, rain, and fertility, and the stars in the night sky. The Aksumite kings, who weighed both religious and political authority, claimed direct descendant from Aram, solidifying their divine status and legitimacy. 
The Aksumite pantheon encompassed other gods and goddesses such as Astar, Bahir, Madir, and Waraka. Each deity had a specific domains and was worshipped for various purposes, including fertility, protection, agriculture, and prosperity. Ancestor worship was also an integral part of the Aksumite religion, as if the deceased ancestors were believed to play a role in the spiritual well-being and guidance of the living. Rituals and offerings were conducted to honor and seek blessings and assist from the ancestors. Religious practices were closely intertwined with the political and culture aspects of the Aksumite Empire. Temples and religious structures, influenced by the traditions of South Arabia, were constructed in Yiha, Aksum, and other provincial towns. These temples stood on an elevated platforms approached by grand stairways. Though details of the temple interiors are scarce, the exterior walls were adorned with intricate patterns of projecting and recessed paneling. Vatov stili and offering tables surrounded the temples, often commemorating the military victories of the rulers. Ritual ceremonies and sacrifices were held to celebrate significant events, agricultural cycles, and religious observances. The Aksumite religion left behind remarkable architectural monuments, notably the towering stone stela erected over the tombs of the rulers. This stela resembling miniature skyscrapers featured elaborate carvings, including false doors and rows of false windows. However, they lack inscriptions and the underground burial chambers of the royal dead have been heavily looted, leaving no evidence of offerings. Thus, the role of mortuary rituals in the religious life of ancient Ethiopians remains uncertain due to the absence of inscriptions and tangible artifacts. As time passed, Christianity emerged as the dominant religion in Ethiopia and the original Aksumite religion gradually declined. The influence of Christianity and later Islam shaped the religious landscape of the region, leaving behind a rich culture and a religious heritage that continues to thrive today. Ancient Egyptian Religion Journey back in time to ancient Egypt, where a captivating tapestry of beliefs and rituals unfold. With over 2,000 deities, the Egyptian pantheon was a colorful cast of gods and goddesses. Their religion went beyond more belief, incorporating mythology, science, magic, and more. At the heart of Egyptian religion was the concept of universal harmony, embodied by the goddess Maat. This principle emphasized gratitude and recognizing the impact of one's actions on others and the universe. By aligning with Maat, Egyptians sought a favorable afterlife and avert chaos. The pantheon featured popular gods like Almont, Isis, Osiris, and Horus, each with their own temples. Some deities like Maat were honored without temples. Religious festivals were a vibrant part of everyday life attended by people from all walks of society. The clergy cared for the gods, statues, and temples, a sacred duty. Worship was not limited to formal rituals, but extended to private homes. Egyptians had diverse ways of connecting with the gods, believing in their benevolence and need for gratitude in their idealic land. A central belief was the afterlife, where the soul would journey to the Hall of Truth. There, the heart would be weighed against the Father of Truth. If the heart was light, the individual would enter the field of reeds. Maintaining a light heart was crucial for a favorable afterlife. During the reign of Pharaoh Akhenaten, a dramatic shift occurred as he promoted the worship of the sun disk, Aten. However, the traditional order was restored after his reign, preserving the old ways. Egyptian religion shaped their civilization, defining social hierarchy, legitimizing the rule of the king, and providing comfort in life and death. Its influence extended beyond Egypt, leaving an enduring impact on ancient and modern cultures alike. A detailed video about the pantheon of ancient Egyptian gods can be found on our channel. Odinala Odinala, also known as Odinini, the traditional cultural beliefs and practices of the Igbo people in southeastern Nigeria. 
it is deeply rooted in their social norms and way of life, with spirituality playing a significant role. While Christianity has become dominant, Odinala still thrives in rural communities, sometimes influencing the introduced colonial religions. Odinala is a pantheistic and polytheistic faith and a powerful central deity, Chukwa, from whom all things originate. The belief system also includes a pantheon of gods and spirits such as Allah, Amadiya, and Yanua, Ekwinsu, and Akunga. The lesser deities serve as helpers or elements of Chukwa. Below the gods and higher spirits are the lesser spirits known as Agbara or Arusi, representing natural forces. The divine force called Agbara manifests a separate Arusi in the Agba at Pantheon. The Nuri Agba and northern Agaba land venerate a solar deity known as Enyanawu. Dabia and other priests meditate between the Arusi and the living through divination, communicating their laws and demands. Ancestor veneration is an integral part of a Denala. Deceased ancestors reside in the spirit world and can be contacted through rituals and ceremonies. Ancestor worship and the worship of gods and spirits from the main components of the traditional Agba religion distinguish it from Abrahamic religions. The practice of Odinala declined with the arrival of Christian missionaries during the 20th century. While some aspects were synchronized with Christianity, others were demonized as juju by missionaries due to culture practices deemed illegal under colonial rule. However, remnants of Agba religious rites can still be found among African descendants in the Caribbean and North America, preserving aspects of Odinala in festivals and ceremonies. Odinala is a complex animistic tradition that reflects the beliefs and worldview of African people before the influence of Christianity and Islam. It is more than just a religious system. It encompasses a holistic way of life while scholars have different interpretations, Odinala remains a vibrant and diverse religious system within Igba culture. However, the religious landscape in Africa evolved with the arrival of Christianity and Islam. Christianity, which found early roots in Ethiopia in the 4th century AD, left an indelible impact on the continent, influencing its spiritual fabric, Islam, introduced through trade routes, gained significant popularity among sub-Saharan populations by the 15th century. As external influences shaped African religious practices, a fascinating question emerges. Have traditional African religions ever mobilized people in a similar way to the Abrahamic religions? We'd love to hear your thoughts and comments, so don't forget to subscribe to be notified of all our new videos.